Hello and welcome to my channel. This is April with Inky Creations with April.com. I'm so glad you stopped by. Let's get started. Today we're going to make a card playing with the new Better Press system from Spellbinders. There's lots of unboxings out there, so I didn't decide to go through all that. But this is all the stuff that you get in your box with just the basic starter kit. You get three different colors of this cotton special cardstock that you're going to want to use with it. It's very thick. It makes the press much more defined. Um, and I have not used this system yet, so we're going to see. But from what I've watched, this definitely makes a difference. So I'm just going to use the porcelain, which is the most white. Um, I've already looked through the instruction manual, uh, good reference, going to keep my little um, best ever craft tape off to the side and this is the specialty better press black and this is the only color I have right now. I'm not going to use this cute um, die that comes with it. I'm going to put this plate aside and I did pick up a couple of the other plates. I picked up the press bouquet. Uh, these awesome A Little Message Sentiments, this beautiful butterfly garden, and I really had a hard time not using that today. But I'm going to do this one, which is so grateful for you. We're going to press it, we're going to do a little ink blending, and put us together a cute little card real quick. So, let's get this all ready to go. We're going to take this off and set this to the side, and I'm going to very carefully tape. I'm going to cut just a little bit of, um, trim this panel down just a little bit so I'm not super concerned about anything right in the corners. But I'm going to just very gently put a little tiny piece of tape to hold this cardstock in place. All right. So have that ready. I'm going to set that aside because we're going to need that again in just a minute. And I'm going to open up my package here. Sorry if it's a little loud. And we're going to go ahead and take this off and I do want to peel off this tape. Okay, the tape is gone so I'm going to very carefully lay that and the grid lines make all of this pretty easy and it really um, has, it's very magnetized so it's really going to hold your plates in place really well. Okay, so I have that in place. I'm going to take my black here and I'm just going to ink it up and it says you do a little bit of pounce and pivot. So I'm just pouncing and pivoting. The more uh, solid areas, these little areas here, you can really see where you don't have good coverage. And, and I do not have the archival ink cleaner that they suggest for this. So I will use what I have and I have been signed up for notification when I can get that. All right, let me go over this just one more time. Oh, this makes my arm tired. All right, let's hope this works. And this is the very first time I've done it, so fingers crossed. So I'm just going to push that aside, grab 
have my Platinum 6 here, and they say do not touch this when you run it through. So I'm just letting the machine, sorry, my machine is squeaky. I'm gonna run that right through. Do not go back and forth, they say. So, fingers crossed. Ah, that is so, so pretty. Wow, wow. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully take this off. Wow, that's really pretty. You can't probably see it on camera, but the detail is amazing. So we're just gonna set this aside. I will uh, come back and clean my plate later. Um, I've also seen some people say if they're just gonna use black, they don't worry about cleaning it every time. Well, I don't have another color right now, so black is all I have. So I am just going to take this off. That really sticks. You can clean this up with that archival ink uh, cleaner. But I also have seen that uh, maybe alcohol, just uh, pure alcohol will work. So I will give that a try. But for right now, I am going to take and put this into place and this is the piece that I will be cutting my sentiment out of. So I'm just going to quickly grab it and up here is fine because I don't need to waste the whole piece of cardstock. I'm gonna take my um, ink pad here and ink this up really, really good. I'm gonna go, I go over it two or three times. I just wanna make sure I get a really great impression. Okay, I'm gonna put my little ink pad aside I'm going to put this on there. It snaps right into place. Grab my Platinum 6 again. Be sure not to touch the top plate. And we're just going to run that through. It doesn't get a lot of pressure. It's very soft going through the machine, but I can already see that it definitely pressed into that cardstock. So, voila! This one is all done. That's beautiful. Awesome. Okay, so again, I will just clean this when I'm all done. And then, so for this, I want to cut this out um, using the coordinating die. So I'll put these in. I always take and repackage everything and put it into my storage system. I will do that afterwards. In the meantime, I am going to grab me some of the tape I like to use. I'm going to put that into place and I am just going to tape that down so it doesn't move when I run it through my die cut machine. And I'll run this through machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so while I was gone, I cut this out using the coordinating die, and I just went ahead and trimmed this down to be an A2 size. It is not perfect, you can tell, but it'll work just fine. So I'm gonna quickly just do some ink blending. So I'm going to get me a couple of these little paws. That's what I like to use to hold my pads in place. And I'm gonna start with guava and blush. And I prefer Altenew's large blending brushes for something this size. So I am going to go diagonally. And ooh, that paper blends really nicer than I thought it would. And 
I am just doing a super fast blend here. So the next color I'm going to use is this blush, which is a pinky orange. Want that just a little darker. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to grab my next two colors, which is sunbeam and celery. So we'll start with the, oh no, not sunbeam, lemonade. So I'm going to start with the lemonade. Kind of been a go-to combination the pink uh, peachy orange and a little bit of the uh, yellow just been a color I've kind of gravitated to so this lemonade is really light but it works great and the last color I'm going to use is a celery so we're just gonna blend that right down here in the corner. Oh yeah, that is a beautiful color. Okay. <clears throat> so let me clean this up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I'm back with you, what I have here is I have a heavyweight top fold card base, a beautiful piece of um, Spellbinders Fog cardstock. It's a very light gray. I have already taken and put, I just do fun foam with score tape on it. I already have that on the back and I have an open spot. You'll get what that's for in just a minute. And then I've already put um, some foam squares. I like to use these from uh, Scrapbook Adhesives, but Simon Says Stamp has some really great ones too. So I have this already and I want to do a little bit of, um, twine on there. So I'm trying going to look here. This is just twine that I have from my stash. And I don't think I want these two. So it's kind of between the white and the colored. And actually, I think I'm going to use them both. So I'm going to cut me a long strip of this. I mean, I have a ton of it. I've had this forever. I couldn't even tell you where I got it from. So I'm not worried about using too much. So I am going to take and I just take a little bit of my tape here, whatever tape I have handy. I'm just going to put this in the back and I'm going to take just a sec and get this wrapped around there. I'll be right back. All right, so I have my twine wrapped around there. I am going to take and put my sentiment on there. And I'm definitely gonna have to try some other ink pads. I've seen that some of the dye inks can work as long as you have a felt pad. So I am gonna kinda get this into place. I'm gonna put that down. And so I'm going to put this on this panel. Well, I am not perfect at doing that. So here's a little tip. I'm going to, and this, and any score tape is super, super sticky. So I like to take my liquid glue and the Barely Arts is my preferred type of glue. And I put a pretty thick layer on back here. It gives me wiggle room. It, and if I have to pull it up, I can because it's just really stuck with the glue um, but this is what works for me so I put quite a bit of that on we're just gonna set that there I'm going to put that right here uh, you're gonna see me just pop this up excuse my head if it gets in the way but I do want to make sure this is nice and even perfect and now I'm going to take, I'm going to adhere this to my top fold card base. Again, using my liquid glue. I don't use tape runner for much anymore. I just tend to like liquid glue. I'm gonna get that put right on that card. And this is a great time to put something heavy on there. 
I thought it would be fun to put some sort of little pearls on there. I tend to love pearls. So, um, I don't like that one. Honestly, oh, I think I'm going to do two different colors. I think I'm going to do, um, I think this is the key lime color from Pretty Pink Posh, and I can't remember what this one is, but it's from Pretty Pink Posh as well. So I'm going to put some of these in each of my little triangle trays and I'm going to place those around my card and I'm just going to use a little um, pickup tool to do this and I'll be right back and show you what the card looks like. So here is my finished card. It's pretty simple. But I really just wanted to show you how the bread, better press worked, how great this cardstock is to work with. This cotton, it blended very beautiful. Um, so I hope you, if you have the better press system and it's sitting there waiting for you to try, I hope you get it out and give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. See you next time.